Davis takes, Ridgewell's forward for him, but it's gone in ahead of him, and Olaf Melberg was the man who got there. The first goal at the Emirates Stadium is scored by the visitors, and Olaf Melberg is the man who may well have spoilt Arsenal's housewarming party. And Juan Pablo Angel was told by David O'Leary he would never take another penalty for Aston Villa after a string of misses. Doesn't miss this one under Martin O'Neill. Good ball in from Whittingham. 2-1 to Aston Villa. Gareth Barry, the Villa skipper, puts Aston Villa in the lead. A new dawn here at Villa Park and they've come from behind. It's loose and it's in, oh what a start! What a start for Aston Villa and it's Luke Moore! Newcastle don't deal with the diagonal, Melberg applying the pressure to Bramble, who didn't get it away. Bonnehoff. Leaving Pabayaro in his way, can look into set up Angel, it's lovely from Villa, it's 2-0! What a wonderful goal! Juan Pablo Angel second in two games and Aston Villa are in control! Watching as Barry plants it into that danger area, it was a great save but it's been turned in anyway and it's the centre-back Ridgewell who has given Villa a dream start here Roy Carroll thought he'd done the business with the first save but he couldn't hold on to it Here's Gareth Barry And from the hall, volleys in and Aston Villa have the lead, beautifully taken Martin O'Neill celebrates, the deadlock is broken and it's the 19-year-old local boy who's put Villa ahead. Here's Angel for Villa at the other end, he's got past Fortune, that's a terrific ball, here's Luke Moore with a real chance and it's 2-0 to Aston Villa and that may well have wrapped up the points, Barros was warming up on the side, Luke Moore perhaps sensed the substitution but he's got the goal. Davis, Ridgewell stays on that far side and will head it across again, it's Agbon Lahore, is it in? Well he's in fine form at the moment and Chelsea here have been pegged back. Well Chelsea will be disappointed the way they defended. Ten minutes for Spurs to hold on. Gareth Barry. Gareth Barry all the way, oh what a strike! Absolutely sensational from Gareth Barry! And Aston Villa a level! A quite brilliant goal. You won't see a better goal than this all season. The informed player in their side. Barry! Oh! Now that is a penalty and Aston Villa lead. Well, Sutton, here's a chance for Agbon Lahore. And he took it brilliantly as well. Villa with a glimmer of hope here. Well, let's see what Liverpool are made of now. This is a boy in masses and masses of confidence. Barry scores straight down the middle, and Aston Villa have the lead. Good grey up, it's only gone as far as Angel, but they will have a second chance to clear, but that's a mess by Kizanis for the Angel! It's 2-0 to Aston Villa! Dreadful defending by Blackburn Rovers, Kizanis, but he couldn't get it clear, and Juan Pablo Angel pounces and scores his sixth goal of the season. Support provided by another youngster in Osborne, and Sutton and Villa have a goal. Well made by the youngsters and finished by an old head. Can he find the net? and put Villa on terms. He certainly can, and Aston Villa will go into the break level. A little bit of space here for McCann, who might take on the shot. Oh, yes! Gavin McCann with his first ever goal at Villa Park, and what a goal it was! Gareth Barry picks a pass very, very well. Good first touch, that's a terrific strike. And now James must try and prevent Gareth Barry from putting Villa ahead from the spot. It's blasted in again, and Aston Villa have taken the lead at Fratton Park. Campbell's only half clears, deflected in, Angel with third 
actually his first touch since coming on as a substitute has put Villa back in it at 2-2. Here's Milan Barosh into Sutton, looking to make a 1-2 between them. Sutton again, takes it quickly, and then wrapped in by Stylian Petrov for his first ever goal for Aston Villa, and it arrives after only 80 seconds here. Stephen Davis back towards Sutton, might drop again here. Barosh has scored his first goal of the season, and Aston Villa are level dramatically within seconds of that Sheffield United goal. What a game of football. Here's Gareth Barry, could make it interesting if he can put it in, and he can. Aston Villa have one back, and they are right back in it. And he takes it. And for all Charlton's hard work during the first half, Gareth Barry scores. And he gets around Vidic and into the area. Oh, there's the souvenir. Agbon Lahore from inches out. They're making a fight of it, Aston Bell. And you never know, all of a sudden, Manchester United's dominance just looks in question for a minute. It's rather too deep, but. Here's McCann, oh, it's cut off the defender and into the net. Heartbreak for Watford. McCann knocks it upfield, Agbon Nahor will chase and he's quicker than Shitu surely. It's Agbon Nahor to wrap it up for Villa and he has. Villa's winless run is ended emphatically. Shitu could deal with the pace of Agbon Nahor, stumbled over the referee right allowed play to continue and Agbon Lahore picked his spot they need something Villa a bit of a lifeline back into the game that's gone a long way it was off the line and back in they have got back into the game and it's Ashley Young on his debut who has scored for Aston Villa Melba on by Carew here's Young Carew again Agbon Lahore's there and John Carew doesn't need him Terrific work by the front two, Ashley Young and John Carew. Oh, three Fulham players left it for each other there, and Gareth Barry comes through. Carew, the score. Aston Villa take the lead at Fulham. Seven and a half minutes left. It might drop for Carew, and it's going to be. Agbon Lahore gets the equaliser. Agbon Lahore gobbling up the scraps there to give Aston Villa an equaliser which could prove priceless. This is Bardsley for Aston Villa. Floats across him. Patrick Berger surely. Aston Villa back in business. You see him in the middle of your screen there and watch. He just finds a little bit of space in between the two centre halves. And how they give him that much room, I don't know. Now it's Patrick Berger. He's played the ball through to Agbon Lahore, who's onside, Gabriel Agbon Lahore! Compares finish from the youngster! Well, I think he's just onside here, Gabriel Agbon Lahore. In stark contrast to the previous 100, goal 701 to 800 were scored in an incredible 53 games, nearly twice as fast as the previous amount. John Carew was the main source of these goals, providing 19 of them and becoming a firm fan's favourite. Barry. Oh, Berger's in behind here, the flag has stayed down, and the ball was bundled in, was it? Yes, Agbon Lahore got a touch, I think. Good swift break by Middlesbrough. Aston Villa looking for one of their own here. Chance for Gardner, great Gardner, he's equalised. Composed finish from the Aston Villa midfielder, and it's his first goal for the club. Young with the free kick. An opportunity here for Luke Moore. He's done it again. Back on the ground where he scored a hat trick last season. He may have delivered the knockout blow once more. Barry Petrov again. It's opened up here. Young's in space to his right. Still Ian Petrov. But has surely won it now for Aston Villa. Lovely spot by Barry. 
They back off him and look at this for a finish. Drills it hard and low. Neda Manua standing up tall. Young gets a good cross in. That's a terrific goal. John Carew heads Aston Villa in front. In front of those watching Villa fans, it's Maloney. Wonderful goal. Sean Maloney gets his first goal for Aston Villa and seals the victory, surely. Uh, Sean Maloney at his very best, something he did on a regular basis when in, in Glasgow with Celtic. Martin O'Neill uh, picking Gardner in central midfield today. He's been playing mostly out on the right, but this is a lovely turn by Bono! And that's a wonderful goal! Out of the blue, Aston Villa take the lead. And Sheffield United will be looking nervously over their shoulders at the drop zone. Agbon Lahore, young in acres of space. Ashley Young. 2 0 Aston Villa. And Ashley Young's first goal at Villa Park. And the two youngsters show why it's a bright future. Baumer. Gardner. Berger. Lovely football from Aston Villa. Patrick Berger. That's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Look at this. I'm thinking they're trying to walk it in the net. Lovely little pass, little dummy. He's on his right foot, but he goes to the one two. Oh, Gardner looking to get in here. Oh, what a stunning finish by Craig Gardner. The Villa support jubilant. The Bolton fans stunned. Well, they may not be on the UEFA Cup trail after all, if Aston Villa have anything to do about it. Young. And a bad delivery. Still might be a problem. Oh, it's in! It's Luke Moore! And it throws it all back into doubt. Terrific finish from Luke Moore.